Hey YouTubers, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be going over four hacks that you can use to increase views and subscribership on your YouTube channel. Now, one of the most important things I tell people about YouTube is it is a search engine, so you should treat it like a search engine. Now, I know everyone's always looking for different ways to game and hack the algorithm, but you know, there's multiple algorithms on YouTube for different things, whether it's search, your homepage, browse. There's so much information and data going into YouTube. If you think there is only one thing YouTube measures, then you are absolutely wrong. The most important thing you can do as a small YouTube is to give Give YouTube as much data about your channel as possible. And the best way to do that is to keep uploading videos consistently. Make sure you're putting in good descriptions, good tags, and good titles. This way YouTube starts understanding what your channel's about and starts delivering that content to an audience that might be interested. Now, a huge mistake that many YouTubers make is that they're always trying to rank for the YouTube algorithm, but they forget that YouTube is actually owned by Google. Google is also a search engine and you can also rank your videos in Google search. So if you're trying to only rank on YouTube search, you're gonna miss out on a lot of views. Some of my videos, most of the views actually come from outside of YouTube via Google search versus the YouTube algorithm. The best way to go about making sure that you're ranking in the Google search engines is to make sure that you are using chapters in your descriptions with keywords so that when someone types something into the Google search engine, there's a chance that that section of your video might pop up. If you don't know how to use chapters yet in your descriptions correctly, I'll put a link up here that will show you guys how you can go about doing this so that you can start ranking in Google search as well as YouTube search. Now, the second hack that I think is super important, I think a lot of people miss out on is having a content strategy that is audience specific. Now, what do I mean by that? So for example, on my guitar teaching page, I focus on adults over the age of 50. So ideally when I'm putting out content, particularly music and song lessons, it's older music, it's Led Zeppelin, it's classic rock, you know, it's stuff that my audience wants to hear. I'm not really doing Shawn Mendes, Ariana Grande, any of the newer people coming out today because that's not in line with my audience. So the biggest thing I can say if you're someone looking to grow your subscribership on YouTube, really dig down deep with your audience. Are they male? Are they female? How old are they? What content are they interested? What are their top three biggest problems and how are you going to solve that on your channel? I promise you, if you dive in and keep delivering content that is very, very specific in the beginning to your audience, you will grow your subscribership much faster. And once you do that, you can start widening out your audience a bit more. Also, if you want to grow subscribership, make sure to ask people for the subscribe just like this. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. This way, YouTube will show you when I release more videos just like this one. Hack number three, look for micro trends in your videos. Now, what do I mean by a micro trend? So a micro trend would be, say you release videos and on average, after five or six months, maybe you have 300, 400 views on your videos, which could be really good if you're a small YouTuber just getting started. What I would do is I would look at your more recent videos within the last one to two months and see if there's any videos that have 300 to 400 views. What's that telling you? It's saying this video topic got the same number of views, 300 views, as this video, which I released five or six months ago. It's telling you, it's a micro 10 telling you, whatever this video was about, your viewers are more interested in that than some of the other content. If you really wanna test the theory, I always recommend to people that I work with and coach, make another video just like that or very, very similar to that topic. For example, one of my students, he had a video on guitar arpeggios and I said, hey, this looks like it's gotten more views than your typical video. Why don't you go and make another video on guitar arpeggios? So he did, and within two or three days, he had as many views on that second arpeggio video 
as he did on the last video in two months. What does that tell us? It tells us that his audience is really interested in that specific type of content. So he should make more content around that topic or related to that topic. So whenever you upload a video, make sure you go in and analyze your videos for what's working and what's not. And the final hack is eye-catching headlines and thumbnails. When writing headlines for your videos, try to make them as catchy as possible. Think about magazine articles, you know, the top 10 ways to get this result, how to lose 10 pounds in four weeks. Stuff like that really gets your audience's attention and really gets clicks. The other thing is to make sure that your thumbnails are colorful. I'll show you a couple of my thumbnails. One of them's an old thumbnail, which you can see is really black. The text is really small and hard to read versus another thumbnail thumbnail, which is a little bit more brighter. The text is clearer to read and it tells a little bit more of a story. So which one of these thumbnails would you click on? I want you to do the same thing with your thumbnails. And if you need help making cool thumbnails, I highly recommend a program called canva.com. Another thing that's good on thumbnails is to use arrows that point to things or expressions or excitement that really tends to draw clicks. And then make sure when people start watching the video that you deliver on the content of that headline and that thumbnail. Just so you guys know, I do have a free training on growing on YouTube. If you guys wanna go check that out, I'll put a link in the description below. It has some tips on what I've used to grow my YouTube channel to over 100,000 subscribers. Make sure to like this video and YouTube's gonna pop up a couple more of my videos over there. Go check those out. I hope to see you guys in another video real soon.